So it's spring now. Or at least Mr. Groundhog here says so. Yay to bug bites and allergies! <coughs> yeah, so spring, not my favorite season. There are two good things about spring, though. Cherry blossoms and softball. Yeah, so I play softball. And for those of you who don't know what softball is, it's kind of like baseball, except the ball is bigger, and we pitch underhand so that we don't break our shoulders, and no, the ball is not soft. <coughs> now that we got all that out of the way, let's get into the stories. So softball has always been my favorite sport. I started way back in 6U, back in kindergarten, when I was an itty bitty 5 year old. 6U was basically t ball. We didn't even have a real field. We played on grass with those orange bases that you just tossed on the field, and then the coach would pitch to you. And if you couldn't hit it, they just gave you the tee to hit off of. And if you couldn't do that, they just let you walk to first. Back then, I would dream about hitting the ball past the second baseman and into the outfield of the tiny field. So naturally, having played softball virtually all my life, I've had some interesting softball experiences along the way. And I'm going to talk about them. Okay, so you know how it always seems like the other team is way bigger than yours? Yeah, so like, we arrive at the game and look at their team of massive giants over there against us tiny little beans over here. Uh, why is there a team of fully grown adults on the other side of the field? Oh no, they're 11-12. See me just you. What? Oh, no, no. That one's definitely old enough to drive. That one looks like my older sister, and she's in college. Usually we would lose against these teams, but <laughs> this one's definitely lying about their age. Softball is a sport of anticipation. You spend half the time doing nothing, especially in the dugout when your team is on offense. So someone invented the genius idea of cheering. Cheering is actually pretty fun. I love just letting everything out, going crazily, completely immersing yourself in the softball. But there's always that awkward stage of cheering when you start a cheer and you don't know if everyone's going to join along. And then you're just cheering by yourself. I'd consider myself a pretty competitive person. So when I get the chance to refine my softball skills and get ahead, I'll take it. Some other kids have parents who played baseball or softball growing up so they can help their kids practice. And then on the other hand, there's my parents. When I was younger, my parents were a little more invested in softball and actually helped me practice quite often. But at some point, my mom got hit by the ball in the arm and spun into some lame excuse of why she couldn't practice with me anymore. And apparently it hasn't healed since. And then my dad is actually willing to practice with me, but it's almost pointless because he has to dodge the ball and then go running after it every single time. Okay, so that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry for the long wait, and I'll say it's kind of short. Uh, since I'm actually playing softball now, actually well into the season, uh, I've been a bit more busy than I usually am. And if any of you play sports, especially softball or baseball, then make sure to comment your stories down below because I'm interested in hearing them. I actually have a lot more softball stories, but I wanted to get the video out, so I'm splitting into two parts, and I plan on making part two sometime in the near future. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, bye!